Hassan Mahdi is revolutionizing television in Afghanistan. He's become one of the most trusted sources for information in a country that was once starved for it. And in the process, he's made great strides in stopping violence against women. This is the first time in our history we are experiencing the free media in Afghanistan. If you compare the production of media today with five years ago, we have been changed a lot. The Taliban banned television during its rule, but since its fall in late 2001, there's been a media boom. Now 80% of the people who live in Kabul have access to TV. Mahdi's father had been deputy minister of planning in Afghanistan, but fled the country with his family in 1996 when the capital became too dangerous. The family returned after the Taliban was forced out. Mahdi finished his education at Kabul University and started his journalism career in 2007. Now at 29, he's the director of news and current affairs at One TV and the brains behind some of the channel's most talked about shows. He created a TV program called Niqab, or The Mask. A blue and white mask shields the identities of women who come on the show to expose lives of abuse. Some have been raped, sold off to men, or forced to marry people they don't love. If you put a woman who was victim of uh, domestic violence on TV and you ask her to talk about herself and her history, you're going to put her in trouble. So you should find a way to uh, give her safety. The blue in the mask symbolizes the burqa. From my point of view, it, it represents the uh, torture, the problem, and the violence against women in my country. Uh, but the white color, um, it, it represents the innocence of women. The Taliban stripped women of their rights, forcing them to wear burqas and denying them access to education. Human Rights Watch estimates 87% of women in Afghanistan have been physically, sexually, or psychologically abused. In the years since the fall of the Taliban, laws have been passed to try to protect women, but extreme discrimination continues. Through niqab, Mahdi is trying to change the culture of violence. In the beginning, it was very difficult to find the first victim to come and talk. But now, uh, they are calling us, the victims, and they are asking for an, an opportunity to come and talk. Mahdi is also the host of Kabul Debate Live. The hour-long show confronts Afghanistan's biggest challenges. For the first time, Mahdi brings together groups involved in reshaping the country, including Afghan government officials, U.S. military leaders, even representatives of the Taliban. We are bringing officials here, very high-ranking officials here, to come and uh, answer the questions which is asked by the public. For every episode, 150 people from across Afghanistan fill the Kabul studio to capacity. They demand answers from the panel about current issues including Afghan security and the Kabul bank crisis. Nearly one billion dollars vanished from the country's largest bank. The two men in charge when that happened faced off on stage and the episode led to justice. It was the first time domestic media talked about this issue very deeply and from very inside. When we broadcasted the show after two weeks, I think, both were arrested by, uh, by um, Afghan government. At the end of a Kabul Debate Live episode, the audience and people watching at home get to vote. At times, more than 17,000 people weigh in on the topic of the day. It gives the, the people and audience a voice, and it is a symbol of democracy in our country. Sameh Mahdi knows the risks of speaking out, but he's committed to giving people a voice against oppression. Danger is always connected to our work and our life. We cannot underestimate it and we cannot ignore it. But in the same time, 
because of danger, we cannot stop our job.